Hello there. Today, we go over the book, Make It Stick, The Science of Successful Learning, by Peter C. Brown, Henry L. Rodeker, and Mark A. McDaniel. In Make It Stick, researchers who've studied memory their entire lives reveal how to memorize faster and make learning easier while dispelling myths and misconceptions about learning being difficult and associated with those with higher levels of native cognitive skills. Are you ready? Let's explore my favorite three learnings from the book. Learning one, adopt the right study habits and ditch the traditional study methods. As children, we were taught that studying meant repetition of the same concept countless times until it became second nature. It's also possible that doing the same type of mental exercise will ultimately lead to mastery of the subject. However, this method of studying has proven ineffective and counterproductive. In fact, repeated repetition of the same thing will eventually fade away. You will feel more comfortable with the subject if you repeat it and you will feel better about yourself. However, if you repeat it constantly, you will gain the false sense of mastery. In reality, you will end up becoming fluent in the domain. This means that you will get the idea of what it is. The downside is that you'll forget the basics fast and lose control over your new knowledge. So what's the alternative? Haven't we been taught to do this since we were kids? Honestly, the people who were considering these practices did not know any better at the time. Fortunately, modern studies have the answers. According to research, you too can achieve successful learning by adopting practices such as spaced repetition, the testing effect, elaboration, and tying the information to memory. Learning two, practice retrieval to gain full mastery of a subject. As we have seen, repetitive studying has some downsides. Your brain is subjected to increased efforts when you reread and highlight fragments of your lecture. Additive twists can change the outcome of this practice significantly. In the future, if you have trouble remembering something, repeat paragraphs or bits of information spaced out. For example, before you repeat something you read and worked on memorizing for quite some time, give yourself a 10 minute break so that your brain can consolidate the information. Think actively about what you read rather than merely repeating it verbatim. Try to understand what you read in a way that makes sense to you. Link it to something that you already know so that you will remember it more easily. There is no point in reading material and hoping it will stick with you. It's important to give yourself time to consolidate the information before practicing retrieval. After you've closed the book, it's time to answer the question, what do you remember? What was the most important point in your lecture? and other important aspects you might want to consider. Activating your brain in this way will cause it to search for information in your memory. If you went back to the top and reread it, it would keep your mind inactive. In addition, it won't assist you in mastering the subject. Learning three, you will better understand the topic if you elaborate on it and explain it in simple terms. The more you elaborate on a topic, the more you can reveal some aspects that you may have been unaware of. This allows you to gain a deeper understanding of the subject. Your brain begins to look for ways to make sense of the information when you speak about what you've read and studied. This, in turn, will help you remember it. In other words, if you are unable to explain a topic to a five-year-old kid, then you are not fully knowledgeable about it. It implies having a high level of mastery of that subject to be able to simplify a subject to such an extent. It is also the reason why teachers seem to know certain subjects so well, because they repeat them repeatedly in a variety of ways. Linking new information to your existing memories is another method of making it stick. Research shows that when you associate something new with an old memory, you are able to learn anything. It is therefore important that you present information in a way that is easy to understand Repeat it at regular intervals and connect it to existing knowledge in order to ensure that you will have full mastery of a topic and become an effective learner. Who would I recommend the book Make It Stick To? A student who has trouble studying for an exam? Person who's taken a course while full-time employed and wishes to make the most of their time when studying? Or someone who wishes to learn new things to advance their career? Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. For a more detailed summary, check out Blinklist in the description below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.